Hello everyone, this is Freya and welcome to a new episode of A Discovery of Nordic Witchcraft. In this episode we are going to talk about Gabba, the big white reindeer. Some creatures clearly have a foot in this world and one in the land of the myth. Gabba, which in Sami language literally means the big white reindeer, is a real creature in its own right but with mythic abilities attached to it. White reindeer legends emerged in early Indo-European society and variants found their their way throughout European cultures. In Norway, early huntsmen carved images of reindeer as a symbol of force and power. Sami folklore states that the big white reindeer was the most magical reindeer of all reindeer. It was believed that if a human was to catch a white reindeer, it would bring them luck, riches and eternal happiness. The color white has long been associated with purity and in Sami culture the color also represented the other world. A creation story related by Ristin Langu, a Sami reindeer herder, tells of a big white reindeer creating the world. The reindeer's veins became rivers, its fur became forest, the stomach became the ocean and its antlers became mountains. The Gabba is the anima, anima of wild places, forests and mountains, the otherworldly steed of fairies and magical folk. The Gabba is seen as a magical beast and is various known as a symbol for the rebirth of light, creative life force, otherworldliness, purity, the quest and a messenger between humans and the spirits of animals of the earth. The antlers of the big white reindeer spirit adorned the shrines and altars, were buried in ceremonial graves and were worn as shamanic headdresses. His image was etched in standing stones, woven into ceremonial cloth and clothing, cast in jewelry, painted on drums and tattooed onto the skin. This uh, reindeer god uh, represents uh, purity and uh, renewal. I will tell you something absolutely magical. Do you know that you can cleanse yourself by meeting a white reindeer? This is how powerful an encounter like that can be. Sami people believe it's very good to have many white reindeer in the herd because they have a strong connection with the spirit world. If you have many of them, you are blessed. In Sami mythology, the Gabba, white reindeer, is agent of the sacred and according to Sami folklore, these were the first animals to come to the country. When I told you earlier, the Gabba is a creature that has a foot into this world and a foot into the land of myths. It is because I have had several encounters with a Gabba into this physical world, but I will not tell you how many I had in the land of spirit. 
I will soon tell you why. From uh, all the encounters I have had with the big white reindeer god, I have come to realize that the white reindeer are connected to the heart and bring the message of love. They are messengers and can communicate in different ways and especially a lot through dreams. One of the most unique experiences I have had in this regard is with Olaf. Olaf, who many of you know real well because he has featured on this channel many, many times. He is a rescue reindeer, his mom died in the tundra, and our Sami friends found him and saved his life. Olaf is a predominantly white reindeer. He lives with other the reindeer at Saltfjelle with his Sami family and the rest of the herd. When I am there with him, he does not visit my dreams. When I come back home, we live a few hours away from them, he visits my dreams very often. White reindeer have the extraordinary ability to communicate via dream world. In this, I can confirm myself. In one of the dreams I had featuring Olaf, he spoke marvelous words that truly touched my heart. Among people, there can quickly be conflicts envy. It is important to avoid the negative things. As a remedy for this, nature is unique. Nature is magical. Getting out on the mountain, experience the silence, all the sounds that are. Have you forgotten? All the different sounds have a power. They fill us with energy. This is how you get cleaned up in the system. Bad thoughts disappear with the wind. You see, reindeer husbandry provides a closeness to the landscape that connects people to traditions that society at large has forgotten. But when and how do we meet the Gabba in this life? Sami folklore tells us if you are lucky, you will meet the Gabba three times during the course of your life. The first time you meet the big white reindeer is called the initiation stage. It is a wake-up call, it is like spirit is calling you. This initiation is a process of dismemberment, having beliefs torn apart and then being put back together again, but in a different configuration. Society says it is all about adhering to the rules and not shaking the branches and making waves. In this initiation phase, the big white reindeer god Gabba shakes all the branches of our trees and has us meet the roughest waves. In doing so, it shows us that health is very, very different. As we develop our power and become healthy, we view challenge as an ally rather than life-threatening. When we complete that challenge, we understand its purpose and we can then heal people who are wrestling with the same challenge. The second time we meet the Gabba is called Acknowledgement Stage. Now you are in OID, which means you have the tools to practice the spirit ways. This appears to be very much like a resurrection phase. You see, when we quit thinking about ourselves and our own self-preservation, we undergo a truly majestic transformation of consciousness. This stage is called the call to adventure. The third time you meet it is at your death. when you are ready to expand into the next 
adventure. Whether you have um, encountered the Gabba in this world or in the upside down world or not yet, all I can personally say is that uh, these encounters occur when it's time for us to take notice of our own spirituality and think about where we are with it. Their appearance signifies the beginning of extraordinary adventures. The encounters with the Gabba are very magical and a fairy tale moment because they represent something that is untouchable and should be pursued nevertheless.